Well, hello, friends, neighbors. John, your whiskey neighbor here. Welcome to Alan Duck. It's Sunday, and I've got two more barrel strength rye samples to talk to you guys. So uh, we'll get into this in a moment. And we're going to talk about this one is a Michter single barrel straight rye, so 53.2 on the Michters, and then uh, white and brown straight rye, cast strength 56.4. So, you know, if you have any rye, or even better, some barrel strength or cast strength rye when you pour a little bit, and when you come back, you know, I'll sip just my initial thoughts, just poured out the samples, and we'll let you know what we get on these two big ryes coming back. Three, four. Thanks for staying with me. Um, I think uh, last week I poured a couple of ryes. This is from uh, Tall Tastings, put on by Paul in the Edmonton area. And uh, I can't remember how many ryes were in the in the package, uh, but there seems like a lot of little sample bottles. And, uh, and I know any proceeds that came out of that went to support the Edmonton Food Bank. So that's a, a great way, I think, to taste some whiskey and, and support a few people locally. I'll get into this Michter's uh, single barrel. Now, I've had a few Michter's over the years and, and had some Michter's tastings, worked through some of that stuff, and I've always appreciated it, but I haven't had it in a while. So it's nice to get this. This is a, a, this particular barrel uh, is 53.2%. Now, Michter's uh, doesn't disclose exactly their mash bill, but uh, to be a rye, of course, it has to have at least 51% rye. That's a rich nose. It's less like sharp you know often rise to me can can right away be grassy or right away be peppery this is like more cooked brown sugar richness oh there's spice in there that's for sure uh, and a little bit of a little bit of cherry coming up as a fruit but i am surprised at my initial thought was like like a, like a rich bourbon almost, you know, because it's got that kind of caramel and brown sugar and, and, and some sweetness coming up. Uh, there's some good some good rye notes in there too. A uh, little bread notes. Yeah, and some spicing. Now, it's, uh, now I've prickled my nose a little bit. I mean, uh, no joke, this is a 53, 53%. So, you know, it's going to be a fairly strong nose. Let's try it on the palate. Cheers. Mm. I just I had to wait for that finish to come back because in the palate it was sweet brown sugars caramels toffees spicy peppery hot cinnamons um some savory spices some clove you know all spice the finish is very nice and sweet and oaky and char mm. this is a delicious sip oh it coats nice too a little butter Mm, better try another sip. That is a tasty rye. Um, I don't know the mash bill, and it dries up nice. I was about to say it is for me on that bourbon esque side. There's got to be a fair amount of corn or some corn in here, and some barley or something else that's kind of keeping it from being some of those harder edges on rye. Some of the menthol eucalyptus is way in the back. I did mention allspice, and there's a, a hint. Just a hint of anise, but not a lot. Um, this this is a very tasty rye. Uh, I think it would have a, a broader appeal than just those who like rye because um, it really it really has those cooked sugars that that welcoming caramels, um, and I, I just think it's got some broad appeal. Let's take a look at this other one. Uh, this one is bright and brown. Uh, strength 56.4 and I asked Paul about it and this one they do disclose is a 70% rye 30% barley which which is a little bit of a, a different mix right no corn in there at all just barley and rye this is dustier on the nose uh, not nearly as high sugars or as high caramels uh, even uh, it's a mental image, but uh, just like that, that crust of rye bread, a little bit floury, um, hard crust. I suddenly it smelled a little bit like that, a little bit of rye bread. Not as rich, 
Good nose, but not as rich as the Michter's. Yeah, this is all kinds of brown sugars and caramels and sweetness with some spicing. This is a lot drier. Let's try this on the palate. Cheers. Much stronger spice. Definitely hot cinnamons, cracked black peppers. A little bit of cayenne pepper, like it's peppery. Um, little, like definitely more, more of that um, lemongrass. It's, it's got a, a little edge of sourness. That's why I went with lemongrass, not just kind of grassy note. Um, <clears throat> far more rye. Let's try it again. Cheers. Second time spoke almost a little bit of nut or husk or, or um, grain to mix in. This one's far more uh, palate clearing, drying. Uh, makes me want to have either another sip of this or or clear with a bit of water. This is a hotter rye, and I know it's 56 versus 53, but it's I'm not. I don't think I'm really grabbing on the three percent. It's either younger or just with that much higher rye coming through. Put a little water on both of them, let them sit for a bit. Let's see where water takes the mixtures. Ah, the nose is less rich. I expected to have a bit more oaking and, and the richness to continue. Water for me um, didn't really help this nose. Now I'm getting a little bit of light cherry, a little bit of cinnamon. Let's try it on the palate. Cheers. Coating is still there, which is nice. So now it makes for almost like a creamy dram. It takes a bit of the finish to get back into the spices. Definitely mellowed this out. Now, for me, I liked the nose without water a lot better. But the palate's quite nice, even with a bit of water. And it's nice and creamy. This would be a very enjoyable dram. So trying the, the right and brown. You know, I haven't seen a bottle of this, so I keep thinking, wait, what is this that I'm drinking? You know, the nose got better with a bit of water. This, you know, that, that crust of rye bread, I'm getting almost like um, some really unsweetened uh, chocolate or espresso. And and still some grain quality that I'm okay with. Like a, like maybe it's the high 30% barley, I don't know, but that kind of a nutty um, grain bin scent on the nose. Let's try it on the palate. Cheers. Water really brought out the grass, um, vegetable, eucalyptus, menthol, slight dill, all of that um, that you can get in a very high ride product. Water brought that out a lot. So it's interesting. With water, I didn't like the Michter's nose as much as with uh, without, uh, but with water, very enjoyable sip. Uh, with water here, nose had far more characteristic. Palate seemed to thin up and be kind of just rye and grassy. These were both pretty good. And, and if you're a, a rye head, which sometimes I've described myself as, I think you should definitely try this, um, this right and brown. It's, it's very, very rye. If you're liking rye, but it's not always your go-to or your favorite, but you wanna try different ryes and you haven't had Michter's, I know the cost on this Michter's is a little bit too high, but this is a really good, enjoyable whiskey. It's it's far richer and, and, and rounder than the other rye here. Thanks for joining me for these samples. Hope you guys have had a good weekend and Sunday's treated you well. And may the work week ahead just be fantastic. Take care.